Hello, all. this is Dr. Dave Maslach talking to you about reciprocity.com. The E is written with a three. And in this particular video, I want to talk about the MD, PhD, or um, doing an MD versus doing a PhD and some of the differences between them. So if you don't know me, I'm a professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship, and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There were so many people that helped me out in graduate school and to allow me to become a professor that I wanted to do something that I could pay the favor forward. So what's the whole deal with me talking about the MD, PhD? Well, I'm actually a really big Dave Ramsey fan. He's a financial guru, in, especially in the southern U.S. He's got pretty good um, community that's here, and it's, it's pretty large. And he always points people to go do the MD, PhD when you are thinking about going to graduate school to reduce the amount of debt that you actually have. And this actually drives me a little bit bananas because people are calling in to become a physician and uh, he's suggesting them to do the MD PhD program, which actually has completely different outcomes when you do that particular program. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that I kind of feel a little bit passionate about and it drives me it just really irritates me i i love everything else this sort of advice that he gives in terms of the financial advice but i think that this advice is maybe not the best advice um, because of the different outcomes that he has and part of it is if you're not part of the university system you don't really realize that there's really distinct differences between those kind of degrees and so you might be thinking, yeah, what does this guy know? Well, I have a um, PhD, so I'm, I'm pretty well aware of this. And, you know, my undergrad was in engineering, so it was much more applied. And I actually had to make this decision of thinking about, you know, do I want to go in the healthcare route and do something applied or do a PhD? So I really thought about it um, and whether to actually do something like this. Now, what turned me off and, and it was kind of more of a, a personal thing was just like, all right, I'm not going to be able to deal with all, um, you know, the healthcare stuff, the actual <laughs> healthcare stuff. So I was like, no, nah, not for me. But um, that being said, that there is really big differences between them. And I actually study um, healthcare as part of what I study. So I study in the medical device industry. So um, I do read medical journals and things like that um, on, on you know, a regular basis. But anyways, so with that being said, what are the key differences between these degrees and the stuff that you should consider with this, right? So um, an MD is much more of a practi practitioner-based degree versus a PhD is a research-based degree. And so what does that mean? So an MD means that you are like an MBA or, you know, a nursing degree. You're going to actually practice once you're done and actually do the art of medicine versus doing a PhD, which is all about the research and the science and discovery of medicine. You're going to go down and sort of do research about this kind of stuff. And there's really big differences between those. So the first thing I would highly consider is that the financial outcomes are going to be completely different if you do those. Now, I know that um, so an MD, especially if you become a, a specialist of some sort, whatever it is, and you're actually practicing, you're gonna make probably considerably a lot more than if you do the MD, PhD route, um, because research doesn't pay a lot in the end, because, um, you know, it just doesn't. You're doing this for the public good. A lot of, a lot of research and the sort of philosophy behind research is uh, related to sort of what we did hundreds of years ago with monasteries and monks and stuff, where we just did things just for pure discovery and the love of it. So that's not really part of the whole, um, you know, what we do right now, right? It's just, if you're doing that, you're doing the PhD part of it to actually do discovery and to do research. And so the financial outcomes are just not gonna be the same. Now, I'm not saying that you can't make really good money if you do an MD, PhD, and you end up becoming much more sort of on the practitioner side and you're doing much more sort of clinical stuff. Um, the same thing with an MBA. If you're doing that, you're going to do, uh, you know, you're going to probably make a little bit more because you're applied. But if you do a PhD after you do an MBA, which is kind of the route that most of us business professors would do, um, then, uh, you know, we, we kind of are not nearly as paid. We, we get paid well. I'm not discounting that at all. 
but we don't get paid nearly the same as what uh, you would in industry for doing the same thing, right? If you did an MBA at a really top school, like Harvard or something like that, and then you went and did practice, you're going to do well. Same with an MD, uh, an MD. If you did an MD and you became a specialist, you're going to do extremely well in that particular field, right? So you have to consider that it's different. You're doing ones about kind of the art and sort of clinical practice and the other one of, of medicine, the other one's about doing research and really getting into the nitty gritty of research. Um, the, the second thing is thinking about the research path. So once you get into doing an MD, PhD or anything related to a PhD, it's all about discovery and, and search. So you are trying to discover something, you're trying to do something that's really, you find passionate and interested about. Um, compared to when you're doing an MD or sort of practitioner route, you're doing things that are, um, you know, much more procedural and you could do things, you could specialize in something that you really find interesting, but you're not doing the research component of that and you're not kind of doing that knowledge discovery. So if you do an MD, PhD, you're going to be expected to do some search and discovery along the way. So you're going to have to write papers you're going to, which means probably staying up at night, um, you know, writing papers or reading things and just keeping up on top of things a lot more than what you had to do with just if you did an, 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 an MD, you're not expected with just an MD to, to do the research component of it. But when you do an MD, PhD, you're expected to do that. Or you do a PhD in general, you're expected to do research and write and, and you know, just do be part of that um, community of the scientific community. Now, lots of people will probably exit out of the PhD component of it and the research component of it, but um, that's what you're not being trained for, right? And you can you can definitely exit out, but you're you're probably going to um, not waste, but you're probably not going to apply that knowledge that you gain from the PhD component of it to um, to the rest of your career. So it's kind of a little bit not necessarily. Um, you're going to gain a lot of knowledge that is is not going to be fully applied if you don't do that research component of it, right? That's a really important thing to think about. Um, now, the other thing, the third thing that you should consider if you're doing a, anything to do with research and a PhD component of it, of an MD, PhD, is you're probably going to be affiliated with some sort of research institute or research university, whatever it is. And there's lots of pros and cons, trust me. There's lots of pros and cons with being affiliated with, uh, you know, research uh, university of some sort, and you know, a lot. And most of it's really positive, but there's also, you know, it's kind of, yeah. so one thing might be you have to move to a particular location. For example, you're probably going to choose. So if you're thinking of doing. Um, rural practice, there's probably not going to be a research institute that you can work with in the community. And so you would have to do lots of traveling back to that research institute, whatever the rural practice is, um, to, you know, whatever research university or um, teaching hospital that you want to be affiliated with. And you'd have to travel back and forth, which travel gets old. It truly does, right? So you have to think about all of that kind of stuff and that sort of component of it is being affiliated. And you probably will. I'd guaranteed if you did an MD, PhD, you're going to be affiliated with some sort of uh, university because or some sort of research institute just because that's what you're passionate about, right? Um, and the, the fourth thing that you should consider in, in its life is competitive everywhere, but if you do an MD, PhD, if you do anything sort of affiliated with research, is it's a really competitive career. You're always sort of comparing what kind of publications you have compared to what somebody else has. Now, if you just do a um, MD, you're competing, but you're competing against uh, you know other people in practice. And it's not necessarily the same thing because nobody else knows what how much money you're making and all that kind of stuff. It's not nearly as open. So the competitive nature of it is is fundamentally different. You're going to, um, if you are affiliated with a, a university, you're going to be, you're going to have to give what your salary is. It's going to be all public, uh, in the public domain, particularly the United States or a lot of Western countries. Um, Canada was the same way. That's where I did my degrees. And, uh, you know, in the United States, everything's pretty much all public knowledge and everybody sees what you're doing, your research publications, all that kind of stuff, which drives a very competitive, extremely competitive dynamic that happens in science. And a lot of people don't really 
a lot of people don't realize that when they're doing that. And so if that's not part of your nature and you don't want to sort of keep up the competitive thing and, and keep going, going forward, you have to realize that this is a, a degree and what you're looking at is not just the degree. And I think that's the, the difference with what Dave Ramsey suggests and what I'm suggesting is I'm talking about 25 years from now, what do you want to do with your life? And you have to really consider that, that this is an important consideration. The degree that you choose has an important consideration and an important impact on your life going forward. So choose the degree and it doesn't necessarily, now I'm not saying, you know, go deeply into debt. I think people make stupid, stupid decisions, financial decisions with education. I would absolutely agree with him, but, uh, you know, choose a university or choose a school that is that won't get you deeply into debt, but will get you the the program and that you would want to do for the rest of your life and choose your career based on what you want to do in 25 years from now, rather than it's just being based on the cost. So you have to look at the cost and weigh the cost. I would highly consider you to do that. So staying in state, for example, or, you know, looking at a program that allows you to, um, you know, going to a lot of the private programs and stuff, they're really, really costly unless you get a scholarship. Hey, you have to consider that. Don't be silly uh, and really consider that going forward. So don't just base your degree on, uh, you know, the cost of it, but just look at it where you're going to be in 25 years from now and whether that's actually going to matter for you going forward. So I know that this is lengthy, but hopefully this helps you with your decision going forward research career and doing a PhD is really different compared to sort of a practitioner based degree. Um, there's a lot of wonderful things that you do when you do a research degree, a PhD uh, is what I'm talking about. And, but there's some real fundamental differences that you ought to consider and think about. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Do put comments below. Um, Yes, I'm not a real doctor. I know it. Uh, but I thought I'd help out and give you a little bit of advice based on my insights of what I've seen being in the sort of research community and stuff like that and being part of um, a university. Thought it'd be helpful as I can. So uh, do subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, take care. Bye.